Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. Quick little kidding up. This is nothing big. This is two diamond paintings. This is the panda and also love heart. What was it called? That's really clever. Purple love diamond painting and panda blossom. I'm kidding these up for a flight um, on the plane. What am I on the plane? Let's just put it this way. In two days, I will almost be in Ken. So I'm on a flight tomorrow, Wednesday morning. So these are for the plane trip. So kit up for these. Hang on. What have we got? I'll kit up Panda first. Um, I kit these up obviously very differently because I don't worry about containers. What I do worry about is the fact that I don't want to have to open these bags up and deal with them on the flight. Scissors, no go on a plane. Now with DIY Moon, I did get this box of goodies. I'm going to pop these away on a tray to the side. Pop that to the side, that to the side. I'm going to have fun with these stickers in this tray soon. But the plan is what I do when I'm travelling is, especially when you have limited space, is to be able to put everything you need in one, one container. The less space it takes, the better when you're dealing with um, this. But, so I'm going to kit up this one. We'll get it moving. And um, I suppose with kitting up, we'll have a bit of a chat. Um, I've not done a drill with me video for a while, for a long time. Um, and I'm actually, you'll find out whether it happens, but I'm actually contemplating. I am actually contemplating doing a live tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Oops, didn't even look at what number that was. Number 11. Um, so, in this, I just more the case that I want to, um, before I do this, let's make sure I lie the numbers out, make sure they're all good. Four, eight, sprinkles, twelve, seven, nine, ten, Five, six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, that's eleven. It's a good way to make sure you've got them. Um, so, yeah, just a bit of a, a chat, get up and chat, I suppose. Uh, there goes by. I been looking at direction of my channel and I will say we're seeing a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers looking at the direction of the channel. Um, I do most of my stuff I do most of the stuff I do I that I record I I record I edit and upload it as quickly as I possibly can. Um, I did that a few weeks ago. So a few weeks ago, I just did a did, did a big blast where um, I just did a lot in that period of time off. So in that period of time off, I did a lot. So I did a lot of edit, recording, um, and uploading. So I don't know whether I felt like maybe I'd done too much. I have done. A bit of stuff just recently where I've um, unboxed and kitted up, and I just haven't released it because I know when I'm going, when I'm away, uh, I won't be releasing much at all. I won't be recording much.
So what I just so I thought, well, that way I can just still give you give you um, what I'm doing um, that way. So hopefully you don't mind the fact that I've gone on and just doing the schedule. When I come back from leave without uh, being away, I will be back to normal broadcasting and doing an upload, uploading, recording, putting it all together and um, uploading it and putting it out for release. But what I am considering is starting to do some wipes. I've done a few lives, but the question is, for me to do lives, I can't do it on a schedule, and my time to do a live is probably six or, well not six, that's about eight o'clock in the morning here, which is probably seven, eight p.m. in the U.S., But I know in the UK you probably sound asleep for anyone that's in the UK. Um, but that's where I'm thinking about going time-wise. So it will obviously be dependent on my roster. But the other thing is, which is why I can't schedule, but the other reason is that if Nathan's home, <laughs> there's no way I'm going to do it anymore. Quite interesting watching him <laughs> sitting here and actually being in a live while you know and chatting in a live and he comes along and he throws his comments in and go, Oh tell them this, tell them that it's like go away. Do you want to tell them anything? Do you talk on these? You need to get your own YouTube account and talk to them. So, um, so yeah. So the last thing I want is him at home when I'm doing a live because it's probably really entertaining. But, as he says, he doesn't do Facebook. He doesn't do lot, much other way of social media at all. So, I think him getting on, on YouTube and social media, I don't think he'd want anyone. But, um, I did throw some extra stuff into my channel previously. I did baking and then went, no, that's not, that's not for me. I can't do the baking. Yes, I can bake. I just can't do it on camera because um, that's stopping and starting of recording. Or if you record all the way through, um, trying to edit and cut out bits where they're not necessary. Um, as in, and what I mean by bits that aren't necessary, I mean, um, I suppose there's points, times where Nathan walks in the kitchen or stuff like that and I need to stop the camera which when you're cooking you can't, I can't do that and I cook for him and I cook for friends at work and all of that and I do that for the enjoyment of it and as soon as I put, started trying to record for those, record those, I stopped enjoying doing it because I was so stressed about trying to get it right for the camera. So that's why that one went. Now, the resin. I did the resin work to because I wanted to learn and get show another way to seal diamond paints. I don't know whether I'll continue I'll continue doing it, but I don't think I will continue recording it. And I'm gonna go straight back to just diamond painting, um, some paint with me. Um, and obviously just my fortnightly vlog of an update of what I have done. So if I actually do get there and do some resin work, I might show it in there, but I don't think I'll record any of it. But take this back to just being diamond painting, and that way um, my other hobbies that I do, I can sit back and enjoy without having to... It's not a stress to record, I mean... Diamond painting is, it's at my desk, so there's no mucking around with cameras in most cases or settings or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's just, just trying to 
keep it as simple as I can without going overboard with a lot of stuff, I suppose. No idea. So, some pretty colours in here. So we've got 1 to 13 plus the sparkles. The, uh, well, actually, what they say is sprinkle on. So the electric diamonds just get sprinkled on. So that's going to be really cool. I just dropped a couple of these. There we go. And the difference, I will show you. So the difference in weight. This one, obviously, it's got a lot more in it. This one hasn't, but this bag is heavier than this bag. But, so that is that one ready to go. So when I actually am on the plane, these will actually be on the tray. I have my diamond paint pen and I will, I love this, my diamond dots, I have two of these and I constantly refill them with wax. But what I do have is that is, no light pad required for this one. So that's all I'm going to need to put in, um, in my bag, on my, in my handbag and the paint. So I will be able to travel with that one and do it as it is like that. Not much effort in that. So I will kit up the next one and I'll continue to chat um, and go from there. Okay, so I'll pop that one to the side. So what that one will probably take with me on the way there. Oh, I don't know who's there. I don't know. I still don't know. It depends on how I feel. They'll both go in my handbag. <laughs> how about that? Radio. Pop that to the side. This one's got less colours in it. It's very sweet, this one. They actually had this on um, a YouTube clip. I've got a video footage of this one. Eight, nine, seven, three. One, four, five, six. I don't need to put nine in the bag, do I? Okay. Eight. Um, so yeah, um, if I am fairly open to some suggestions, are you liking, the big question to me is, are you liking the vlogs? Um, do I need to try and work on shorter? Because I do believe that I tend to ramble on with the vlogs. Um, but then with the vlogs, I'm not doing whipping chats. Um, yeah. Suggestions, happy to take suggestions. Um, what else? What's been going on in the diamond painting community lately? Um, do you know want, want to know something really funny? At the moment, I have that's I have no idea whatsoever of what's going on in the diamond painting community, with the exception of the work that's been getting done. I have attended. Um, some lives, I drop into lives, um, so when I'm at work I do tend to drop in on lives, um, I will say I'm there, you don't drop into a live without saying hello, um, it's a lot nice to let you know, guys, you get your host know that you have turned up to say hello, um, so yeah, I, while I'm at work, I will actually pop into a live, say hello, say I'm at work. And sometimes I'll last 10 minutes um, before I have to go back to work or might end, actually end up being there for an hour. Um, 
right here. So with that, like I attend live, so I'll drop in and say hello and I'll see people in the lives. But I'm not really hanging around and I'm not really getting, seeing a lot of the stuff that's going on in the Don Pain community. Another reason why I'm not seeing much in the Don Pain community is because I have removed myself from Facebook groups. Now, I'm still in quite a few diamond painting Facebook groups. I will say, however, that I, my, so I have, I, I actually do have an illness, but my anxiety levels went up. Um, there was stuff that was happening in the diamond painting community that upset me. Um, and I voiced it. Um, I got a response back and left it there. There's no further, nothing further for me to do. Because we are all different. We're all very different people. Oops. Um, and how I interpret things is different to how other people interpret things. And so I took the step along the lines of, which I've had to do in my personal life, more than a decade ago. Um, if something's not making me happy, if something's like upsetting me, I need to identify what it is that's upsetting me. And I found that what was upsetting me was actually specific YouTube channels and Facebook groups. And if you have a look at some of the Facebook groups and I don't know how to put it, but there's some Facebook groups you get on and people are actually there complaining about this is meant to be a hobby. As soon as you are on a Facebook group and you turn around and say this is meant to be a hobby, stop and look at the fact that if you were in that Facebook group, would if you weren't in that Facebook group, would that make you feel different? So... If something that upsets you on a Facebook group is making you unhappy or suffer with anxiety or just not good for you, my suggestion would be is to leave that group. Because if you have a group that is constant, if you have in, in life, if you're in an environment that constantly makes you unhappy and not enjoy things, are you going to stay there? For me, I learned a long time ago, if it doesn't make me happy, why be there? So, I, with me, I've left Facebook groups and I've lost left YouTube's uh, channels because I was watching them for two reasons. One, yes, some of the YouTube channels, are, they're great creators, fantastic creators. But those YouTubers... Were also um, I suppose how do I put it? YouTubers are just some of the YouTubers just putting their opinion across, and um, which is a fair call. It's your channel; you do what you want. But some YouTubers put it to the point across, and in an environment that's not healthy. And if it's not healthy, um, you get out. So I was in lives and some of those lives that I was in, I was getting upset about, but I wasn't moving on. I wasn't getting out of them. I have obviously left those YouTube channels and um, I'm back to enjoying Diamond Panny again. I still watch YouTube clips, um, but I am... My subscription list has reduced significantly because as soon as I start seeing someone carrying on about drama, I'm like going, well, your channel's been drama. Hopefully I'm not, but this is just my opinion on this one. If I find a YouTube channel or a Facebook group is upsetting me and making me feel like I'm getting dragged into drama, I'm going to leave it. Then I don't know anything about it. It's really good. It is refreshing to be able to do that. 
So if something upsets you, take stock of it. Do you, do you need it in your life? If it wasn't there, would you miss it? Or would you just know nothing was different? Okay, so I am now kitted up for Penguin. And he will be done, well not Penguin, on the um, Purple Love. I said Penguin because I've got Penguin on there. Um, so I'm kitted up for Purple Love. And that one will be done on the plane as well. And yet again, I'll be able to get all of those, if I look at it, I'll be able to get those into the box. And um, have no issue at all getting that one on the phone. The reason, one of the things I will say with this kit, having a diamond painting pin. Um, so this will be my first time with an actual diamond painting pen, not just one of the pink things. So looking forward to that. Um, but if you are going to fly, one thing I would not do is there will be no tweezers in here. Um, so the only thing that's sharp is basically what's in here, which is passed as a pen. So um, some of us fly on in, in areas where security is a lot higher, um, where you can't even take a knit, knitting needle onto a plane. So doing this actually um, and making sure that you've got no tweezers, no scissors because that's why you do baggies. Put them in baggies because your scissors you can't take on your plane. Um, do put an extra spare of wax. Never use it, but that extra is always handy. Um, but this one here, this is Purple Love. I'll just put these in here. So what I have is this one is good to go. I'll probably do that one on the way home. I'll just roll that up. So that's Purple Love. That's good to go. Candy's good to go. And um, I will actually have diamonds on this before I go away. I'm going to diamond paint this um, tonight. Probably while I'm putting this video all together and uploading. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked um, yeah, and continue to like. And I hope um, my little chat within here is okay. But yeah, I'm looking at doing some... Getting back and doing some lives when I come back from my break and um, just cleaning up on what I do on my channel. And so, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.